Okay, my super talented friend, your mission, if you wish to accept it, is to rebuild this beautiful thing. Uh, it's just a cracking little thing to work on here. The right height for me, Ollie. Awesome. As you can see, you know, it was obviously need your expert fettling taken apart, gluing all back together and all that jazz. I'm thinking a couple of SRP uh, engraved logos. Be cool all the way round. Uh, yeah. What do you reckon? Let me know. Later. The problem is they, you end up like losing too many of them. You know, like nine will be good, and then the temp will be like you have to chuck it. Yeah. So. Needs a little bit, but yeah, it's good. And then French it out so it's nice and hard. That's it. Super cool, that is. It's still a little bit skew if actually, but wow. Well, hello my friends, welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. Now today we're here at Ollie and Kate's Forge and I'll show you why we're here. Start as you mean to go on. So, where is it? So, I'll just tell you what we're doing. I've got this old butcher's block. Now, Ollie and Kate, they're master craftsmen. And I said, could you do a little bit of work on it? And then he took it apart and realised that it wasn't the best thing it's ever. Still, yeah. So, right, I'm going to hand you over to Ollie and he's going to talk you through what we're going to do. Right, what we'll do then is we'll strip it down. So we've got each individual block. There's no way of getting those cleaned up so they can be joined back together again. And we've still got the dodgy joints in the middle. We've got to get them down to little pieces. We'll square them up with a plane glue them back together again into long chains like that yep. and then once the glue's gone off we'll rejoin each side again it's going to be a bit of what do we call it with uh... the old wooden <laughs> saw in yeah. the yeah two and fro in it yeah it's going to be a bit of we'll put, the, we'll put some sandpaper down basically a bit of hard work for me yeah, yeah. yeah. We've, got to, we've got to get these dead flats so they join back together again. The grains go in this direction. We can't get that direction for the planer. A hand plane is not going to get that dead flat. The only way to do it is with sandpaper. Yeah. So we'll put a bit of worktop down, get some sandpaper down. You get on one side, I can get the other. And we'll be doing this for a few days until they're nice and flat again. So we start now then? Yeah, the next job now is to We'll get the side panels off, see what's going to fall apart and what needs cutting apart. The hand plane, it's not going to be wide enough to, to actually join both sides. Yeah. So, no, it's not going to be wide enough to, to, to join in one pass. If we do it in two, which we could, Ch chances of us getting it yeah. flat and, and getting a nice joint all the way through is going to be, you know, the room for error has opened up too much. So we'll cut all these in half again so we can do one simple pass. In fact, you can do one pass on each one. Yeah. And, um, and away we go. 
glue it together into new chains. New chains, and then see what comes next. So we got now. We're just going to take the sides off. Then we're going to split all these into single strips. Yep. And like you say, in half again. Uh, plane them, sand them, glue them back together, sand them. That's right. And I mean, build it again. The plane, the planing. There's a few steps to it because we've got to we've got to make a new a new datum, get a new true edge on it. Uh, then we put it through a bandsaw to make sure we've got the opposite edge yeah. parallel with the first one. We don't have to worry about the one side because it doesn't matter if when it's glued into a chain like that you've got tatty edges. Yeah. So we can run that through a bandsaw get it all nice and flat again, get it on the sandpaper and we'll be away. But the, the, the key thing is to get all these joints nice and tight so we can sort of get started and start again. But, you know, there's going to be a few hours of getting this apart. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Let's do it, mate. Let's yeah. Get me working. This is hard work, <laughs> you know. It's hard work for me. So, obviously, there's all kinds of stuff going on around here. I can't help it. This is a working forge. It's an amazing place to be. So what we're going to do first of all is we've got to drill these old screws out. I mean, it's a beautiful looking thing. And in my head, I was like, yeah, this is really cool. And then we take it apart. And obviously, yeah, it's a bit of a ball ache, but hey ho. So what, what are we doing then, mate? Obviously getting the screws out, how do we do it? Right, there's no point in trying to, trying to get a screwdriver in these. Brass screws into oak. These will be welded in solid by now. Um, so we'll have to drill the heads out. Yeah. Try and do it with a bit of finesse. So I'm going to send a punch, get the drill down there as neatly as I can without chewing up too much of the wood around it. Yeah. And hopefully we can just prise this off then. Yeah, sure. That's one done, yeah? That's it, that's one done. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six to go. You're always going to get a little bit of damage around here. Yeah, sure, sure. It doesn't matter because we'll plane this up and then see what see what we can get out of it. Are these some in here as well? Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, I think some of them have been put in later to date to obviously yeah. just try and hold it together. It's been falling apart. But so what we do? Yep. Oh, yep. So take the that. Yeah. Just go for it. Yeah. That's it. Or harder. That's it, that's done. Yeah. Yeah. Drill. You've got to hold it tight or not? Not really. Is that in? Or have I gone? Uh, it's probably getting there. Yeah, that started. So you've got to be careful when you. It will jump off at the end, but you can't really do anything about that. How do you know when you're at the end, mate? <laughs> It'll fall off. It what? It'll fall off the, it'll fall off the, the, the screw. I mean, short of completely trashing this, there isn't really any way of, any other way of no, doing no, it. No, no, no. Well, you got a nice, you've done a better job than me there, actually. Put a bit yeah. of WD in it. Yeah. What, to cool it down? That yeah, thing, just yeah? to... You can just hold it in place so it doesn't, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't spray. That's it. Do you want me to turn it while you spray? No, that's fine. Yeah, go, go for it. Oh, it's coming up now. That's there. it. Yeah? Yep. Cool. All these brass screw heads are drilled out. It doesn't look pretty. It doesn't really matter. If we just try to butcher this off, excuse the pun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, we, we probably wouldn't have any, any wood we can, can use out yeah, of it. Sure. Yeah, sure. But even, even now, you know, we'll get that off. We'll still have some nice, nice bits of oak to clean up and, and we, can, we can put those back into the block and make some new sides of it afterwards. It's like I said, you know, we're going to try and uh, use as much of this yeah. as we can. And, yeah, even you know. if it doesn't go back in the same place, it's still there, yeah. you know. There'll be bits of this wood, you know, on here yeah. you know, in a few days' time. You know, it's, it's a nice way of preserving it and, yeah, I like it. Cool. Right, we're going to have to get the chisel in here. It's okay. going to look a little bit, it's going to look brutal, but it's the only real way of doing go it. We've, it got, we've got to break this joint. Yeah, go for it. Right, this is where it probably flies off the... You want to grab one side of it and just push, you know. Okay. Go for it. Right. 
It's coming. Look at that. Awesome. Actually, that's come off better than the last one. So obviously we can see now in here. So just to explain to me, obviously this, this is not a bought block. Someone's made this, haven't they? No, this is def definitely made. I mean, for a start, you wouldn't, make, um, you wouldn't make a proper butcher's block out of oak. No. Oak's just, um, it's just too... It's just too porous, too open grain for, yeah. for, for you know, it's going to have blood and things stripping down it. It's, you know, it's, it's not ideal, but for what you're going to do, it'll be amazing. You know, it'll be yeah, a, it's just a, a little solid bit. block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you can see straight away, you know, these joints look like they've been done with a chainsaw. They're, you know, they're, they're just <laughs> awful. You know, you've got Gorilla Glue, which has been shoved, shoved in all the gaps. Um, that looks like a bit of block filler, actually, but it's, you know... Yeah. We couldn't just stick. We couldn't just stick that back together again. It would be. It would be completely wrong. So well, you know, when I, when you first took it off, basically the four legs are part of the block, and this piece in the middle then here was basically it's floating. It's just hanging. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can see it's it's had a screw put through it to hold it together, but it's uh, it's hanging on the screw. You yeah. know, they they the legs are broken out. Really, this needs to be completely separate and sitting on top of a frame. <clears throat> So we'll, um, I don't know what we'll do with the legs, whether we'll reuse those, put them back in the board or make new legs, I don't know. But yeah. uh, when we finish with it, we'll have essentially a table with sides on it and the block will sit inside it. It'll be, it'll be a thing of beauty. But you'll have supports underneath it and, yeah. and cross members, so it's, you can really cleave on it and not do it any harm. Wonderful, mate. So we've drilled those screws out, we've took the side panel off, we've just got to take these remaining screws out now. Yeah. Some of them come out easier than others. Yeah. I'll have a bit of that action then, mate, if I can. Make, make, make it look real difficult, otherwise we need to drill the tops up. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, you like that there? <laughs> yeah. Don't say that one will do with your hands. Thing is, oak, especially live oak. Yeah. You know, you'll screw into it, and it will, it will well just screw in. You know, yeah. You know, it's, it's terrible, really. When, when we're fitting furniture into gates and whatnot, we'll put a bit of put a bit of um, like grease, you know, like yeah. grease in in the first that actually helps the screw go in. Right, I'll get that last one there. Look at that. Hey. We'd have probably got all of those out by hand. <laughs> We're doing it old school. Yeah. It wasn't safe. it wasn't like that on the other side. No, no. Might not be on the others yet. Right, I'll get a screwdriver, we can Try and get that out. That might work. Might be the wrong side. So now, so I'll take this out. It might be a little bit small, now. yeah. Is that going to work? No. Yeah. No, looking at the way I was flexing, we have to drill that out anyway. Yeah, do you reckon? Yeah, it'll just snap off inside. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be the worst, because then we've got to dig out a yeah, piece of screw then. Maybe cut it off. It all depends what you want we, to do with we'll, the lens. We'll draw that out anyway. Yeah. But if we if it snaps, and yeah. it snaps out in there. Oh, do you think it? Oh, do you yeah. think they're right in here? Yeah. 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 Then, yeah we've, we've, we've lost that block. Then, so I can't even think of that. No. Before. So have we got to tap this then, Ollie, before we drill it. Sorry, yeah. We've got to tap it before we drill it. I'll just bung, bung drill down it. Yeah. Yeah. a bit different, isn't it, this one? Yeah, it's going to go That's not really clever, right? I'll, um, I'll try... I'll just get yeah. around the bit. Bit of brute force and ignorance. That's it. Probably to hold it, mate. Are you ready, eh? Yeah, go. That's got 
two in, isn't it? Yeah, we might not get the one out of our side. We'll give that a go first. Try and loose what with the Might screwdriver. Easy, yeah. This one here. No. No. That won't go now, it's loosened, will it? Yeah, that's not good, yeah. No. So do we can we prize it from yeah, underneath? Just put it up we have to stand on it and push it over, I think. Really? Yeah. Yeah, okay mate, you the man. Have a look at it now. <laughs> so what are you thinking? Nutter. Yeah. I mean, you. You, um, you never. That's going to be hard because you give two ways, yeah. aren't we? There. Have you ever started one of them projects and you think, why did you do it? Yeah, this isn't one of them. Don't worry. Oh, it's been some. It's been some much worse. So basically, Ollie, them screws are just too big. There's two in two sides. We, you can't snap it off, can't prise it off. The, the screws aren't drilling out. The heads, the heads are way too hard. It's just, it's just snapping drill bits. The, the weld is pretty firm in there. I can sledgehammer it, but we'll probably break too many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've already lost one. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, I'm not too worried about that. We can, we can still put yeah. a lot of that together anyway. Uh, so easiest way, we'll saw that off and then we'll chisel around the bolts. And yeah. Just firewood, just kindling the the stuff around it. Yeah, cool. There's too many holes in that bit of wood anyway to really get anything out of. You know, we don't need yeah. to anything anyway. Yeah. Japanese pull saws here. Uh, old school. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that, mate, is pretty much what we're playing with now. Yeah. But you can see now, can't you? Like, look at it. <laughs> see, it's just been foam filled. That looks like um, like the cork stuff you fill. It does. That's anyway. almost you like with like. That, you shouldn't have gaps that big. No. Put an inch of cork in it. So at the moment, I'm having trouble buying into your how good this looks. Yeah. And I know you're super no, amazing at what you do. <laughs> I know you're amazing. It will happen. But like looking at this now, it's just like, it is. A, Wait, we just when, put it in the you, fire. When you've been standing this for an hour, you're going to have even more trouble buying into it, don't you? <laughs> so the next process then is to take, get these off that I've got them screws in. Pry, uh, send these through the saw, through the joints, yeah? That's it. And yep. then we start the hard work, yeah? That's it. Yeah, Can I go we'll, home now? We'll try and get these. Oh, you've got a lot of planing to do. <laughs> we'll try and get these. Yeah, we'll try and get these chains out first. Yeah. Yeah, you, know, you can see the natural. Are we still going? Yeah, go on. Yeah. yeah. You can see the, where the natural joins are. Um, we'll try and get those chains out. I mean, you might find there's there's still. Well, I, I'd say that probably not. You might find there's still locks in there that we can reuse whole sections of. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, I think we'll, we'll just be wasting our time trying to do that. We may as yeah. well just get it all down to every little block. Yeah. Cool. So, right, now some chisel time. Yeah. This is the one we just... Yeah. Just to show people what Kate's doing, banging over there. I'll come back to that. Mate, go on then, what were you saying? Is that the one we've just cut off? No, the bottom one. Right. Yeah, the bottom. Let's wind that one out first. Is it going? Yeah. No. Right. I've seen there like. I'll show you a little trick Yeah. A little Indian trick. You like to that? Of course you are.
Ah, making a flat surface for a grip. That's it. It'll either work or it won't now. Yeah. It won't now. No, work. never mind. No, we'll give it one more go, but I think that's going to be a firewood block. Oh, you've got it. Got it. I do a lot of um, picking up wind fallen logs and that sort of thing. Yeah. It's the bane of my life having screws in. Yeah, like that. yeah, it's yeah. Just in the middle of a trunk. You know? Yeah. Of course you can't put anything through your machine safely, can you? No. no. Right then, Ollie, where are we at? Right, so now we've got to start, we've got to start breaking it down. Yeah. Start breaking it down into its primals. Um, primals. <laughs> I'm thinking... That's a lot of primals. We can, if we, try and, if we try and break this apart, you know, with a chisel or whatever, all we're going to do is snap one of these blocks. And yeah. We, we need to keep as many as we can. We've snapped enough already. So I think now we're going to put it through a meat saw. We're going to get the chains out. It's going to be rough. It's not going to be pretty, but it means we can start, you know, sawing each individual one yeah. out then out of the block. Over to the saw. That's it. That's lovely. It's, it's not a good um, it's not a good direction for cutting, but nice and slow, and that's come out flat. Yeah. So if if these joints were good enough, which they're not, I wouldn't trust them. But if they were good enough, we could get that on the sandpaper now, and actually um, and actually get that ready to glue up. But we're gonna we're gonna go better than that. We're yeah. gonna keep on going and get these down. I know it's a shame, but you know. Needs must when the devil drive. For the greater good, I'd say. Yeah. 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 It's going to look amazing. Just... I know it took apart, but it's already looking better. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> How much better is that? I mean, that's, that's the sort of um, that's the sort of finish I'd expect to see on the outside of the board. You know, that yeah, you know, even under the panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so that book matched as well. So what's what's the next plan? Now we got these. You're going to take them individual. Yeah. So now we've got a really good flat surface to actually start off. You know, we can put these in the in the chop saw yeah. now. It does, it does whack out quite a bit of it, but to be honest, the joints are that big in parts, yeah, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. So we'll put that for the chop saw, and yeah, it, we, we, we'll start cutting through that way. That'll give us the, the faces to start. But actually thinking about it, we'll do this differently. Yeah? Yeah, we'll do this. We'll, we'll cut these again on here. That'll be the best way Working of getting on yeah. the fly, yeah. yeah. So you're going to send it through again, what, we'll halve them? So we'll halve them now, Yeah. because it'll be easy to do that now rather than later. So as you just said, we've just sawn through all those joints. So we've got now a chain of blocks, and we're just going to take those in half again. Then I can get set up and I can start planing these off, getting them back to some kind of uniformity. I mean, they look beautiful now. When we cut through those, the wood looks amazing, and I can actually start seeing now Ollie's vision of how good this is going to look. Wow, that's looking more like it, isn't it? You can see, like we shouldn't we shouldn't be able to see the gaps there, though. You know, yeah. if this was done properly. You'd see a change in colour, but you wouldn't see that, that 
That's oh, the like great gap in between. Sort of like one feet. Yeah. It's looking yeah. good though now, isn't it? Like that. It's looking beautiful. It's getting there. Yeah, awesome. Okay then Ollie, just run us through what we've done so far from me walking in, we had that block. Where, where, what, where are we at now mate? So this is a chain which came straight off the saw. Uh, this is another one which you've just seen go through the chop saw. So we want to get this back looking like that now. Now I know you're going to think, well why can't we just leave it like that in the first place, but you know, as we've already said, we've got some horrendous, well they're not, they're pretty good jo glue joints, but they're not the best. I mean, they're actually pretty tight as well. But again, you know, my work, I don't want to see those glue joints. I want it to be seamless, obviously really tight. You're going to be cleaving on this. It's yeah, got to be as good sure. as it can be. Yeah. So we're going to play in each of these faces now by hand, because you're not going to get out through a machine. I haven't got a jointer. Is that every face we're doing? Or just yeah, what? so every face, every, yeah. every touching face. Yeah. So we can lie it back down like that and get this glued together back into a chain like that. Yeah. Now the beauty of having all these the same thickness is providing we do a nice glue up, yeah. we can take this back out, it'll be ready to start your, your hee haw sanding yeah, yeah, and get yeah, it yeah. Um, you know, to me to you and get it nice and, nice and flat ready to join back together again. So you can see, can't. you know, like I know this is only a small part of the, the, bl the block, but you know, we've kind of broken the back of you know, quite a big element here. Well, when you think we've gone from that and we're now down to that. Yeah, you can start to see it taking shape. Yeah, you know, you know can, where you're going with it now. now. But like, it's a long way away from that, isn't it? It's a long way away, but you know, we've got a, we've got a nice finish on there already. You know, this is just straight off the chop saw. Yeah. You know, there's a couple of tatty bits, but you know, once you've got the hand plane on there, you'll, you'll get that over in a couple of passes. Um, it'll be dead easy. So you, you won't have any problem with set that. Set me up now with the plane yep. and away I go. Yeah, I'll get you sorted. We haven't got any, uh, any fancy woodworking vices here. Straight in the metalwork vice. And, and Doesn't matter if you dink that flat face a little bit. Yeah. You know, we just want to hold on to it, plane it, get it out of the shop. Cool, mate. Let's go for it then. <laughs> 